Greetings from St. Croix. I'm Chris Powers. Hello everyone. I'm Christy Powers. As part of our ongoing discussion of how we work with buyers, let's go through the steps involved. We'll be going through this flowchart in detail in this video. If you'd like to download our buyer's guide, which includes this flowchart, just look for the link in our newsletter. The first step, a buyer's consultation. While of course we prefer to meet with buyers in person, sometimes that's simply not possible. Buyers are in different locations throughout the United States, so a phone call is more practical. But if it's possible, we love doing a Zoom call so you get to see our faces and we get to meet you, and we find that's a more productive way to discuss how to move forward. One of the things we do during the buyer's consultation is discuss with you how we work so you have an idea of who we are, what the buying process is, and if we all feel like it's a good fit, you'll engage us with a buyer's agreement. Step two, get pre-qualified with a local lender. Speaking with a local lender will give you information about how much you qualify to borrow, the types of mortgages that are available, the current interest rate, and other terms of a loan. The third step is determining the criteria of the type of home you'd like to get. This is where we're going to have a very in-depth conversation with you, probably more than one conversation. What are things that you absolutely must have in a home? What are things that are optional? Wants versus needs. How many bedrooms and baths? Do you need a pool? Do you want a view? How big is the house? Do you want an auxiliary unit or a cottage of some sort? Once we find those things out from you, we can do a much better job in searching for the right property. Number four, let's go home shopping. We'll look up listings with your criteria and email them to you so that we can discuss them together. Then. I can set up showing appointments for the ones that you're most interested in. If they're vacant, we may be able to see them that day. If not, they usually require 24-hour notice before we can enter a property. If you are off-island and want some immediate information, we can go there and either take photographs or videos and send those to you so that you get your information right away. We have sold properties to people sight unseen on the basis of a FaceTime call alone. Yes. Step five, we find your dream home. We've sent you a lot of properties, we've looked at different properties, and we found the one that most closely meets your criteria. This is a very exciting time for all of us. Mm -hmm. Step six, time to prepare your offer. Together, we'll discuss the terms, price, earnest money deposit, inspection period, contractual deadlines, and every other facet of your offer. We want to create an offer that you're comfortable with and also one that would be attractive to the seller. Now we negotiate your offer, step seven. We've sent your offer on to the seller's realtor. They've discussed it with their seller. A couple of things can happen. They can accept your offer, they can decline your offer, or they can counter your offer. We always hope they accept your offer right away, but most frequently there's going to be a counter offer. We're going to discuss that counter offer with you, the pros and the cons, how of course it's different than your original offer, and what makes sense for our next step together. Eight, contract accepted. Once all of the terms are agreed upon by both sides and all the signatures are there, the timeline begins. The date of the last signature is called the effective date and all contractual dates start from that date. Step 9, the due diligence period. This is where you as the buyer and we as your realtors begin by having a property inspection completed by a USVI licensed home inspector. We have a list of inspectors whose work we value and trust and will, are very comfortable in recommending to you. 
Once that inspection is complete, you're provided with a very detailed inspection report. Some of the items, of course, will be minor, but what we really want to make sure of is that there are no major items that affect your desire to continue with the purchase. Some things will be as simple as asking for repairs or a credit at closing so that certain items can be repaired. This is where there could be another negotiation with the seller to see if they'll meet your requests coming during the inspection contingency period. In the U.S. Virgin Islands, we close with attorneys. In the States, you're probably more used to closing with title companies. We have a list of attorneys whose primary law practice is real estate law. We're very comfortable in recommending them to you. We want you to find one that you feel comfortable with, so we'll help you with that process. The next step is we get through the inspection period. Does that leave any questions unanswered? If it doesn't, we move forward. 10. Home appraisal is ordered. If you're getting a loan, the property will need to be appraised. There will be a title search to ensure that you have clear and marketable title. And unless you're buying a condo, a survey will need to be done. As the buyer, you'll need to secure homeowner's insurance. This is step 11. We'll provide you with a list of local insurance providers so you can make sure that you can find the best rate and the best coverage that both meets your needs and, if you're borrowing money, meets the needs of the lender. Number 12. Final walkthrough. As the buyer, you have a contractual right to have a final walkthrough before closing. And if you're off-island, we'd be happy to do that on your behalf. Many people think that number 13 is unlucky. In the buying process, we think it's a wonderful number because that's when your loan gets approved. What we're waiting to hear for the lend from the lender is three magic words, clear to close. Once the lender gives you the clear to close, we can set a closing date and very shortly, the property will be yours. 14. Close of escrow date. A closing date is set, funds are transferred, money and title are exchanged on your behalf by your attorney and the one representing the seller. Then the deed and the sale documents are recorded at the Recorder of Deeds office. And you own a new property. Congratulations! Congratulations. We'd love to work with you.